came the first American president to travel to China. Thereby, excuse me, what's going on here? Well, Mr. Feeney, you were on me about cutting class, and so this is the only time the masseuse could do me. So, Nixon, China, I'm all ears. And a really bad knot. Nina, right here. <laughs> all right, that does it. Out! You gonna crack my back? Don't tempt me. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of your antics. This school was meant for education, not for your own personal pleasures. I couldn't agree with you more. We are back from the airport, Griff. We got your lobsters. <laughs> lobsters? Flown in fresh from Maine. I could eat mine right now. There's still a lot, Freddy. I said what I said. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, care to join us for a late lunch? It's a four-pounder with your name on it. Young man, I want you to go to my office and wait for me. Just Mr. Hawkins. Uh, where Griff goes, we go. Gentlemen, don't you have lives of your own? No, sir. <laughs> and what happens when Mr. Hawkins is not around to tell you what to do if, say, he's expelled? Like that could ever happen. It could happen. What? I don't have to get my own life. I'd consider it. But all the good lives are taken. <laughs> I'll see you after class. We're all alone, Frankie. What should we do? I don't know about you, but I'm going to get some butter. <laughs>